I just realized I need a coffee refill already. And I haven't even started yet. Oh, man, I was unprepared. Oh, that's so funny. But I made a commitment. I was going to show up this morning at 8 o'clock. And here I am. I am. Um, no makeup on. I am going to walk my dog after this, but I promised my Southern Hemisphere students and people of the workshop that we would, um, I would change up some of my times so we could, um, we could allow more people from different places in the world to participate in the lives. <laughs> So hopefully one person in Australia can get this and it's not super late at night for my UK friends. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're here. Is there anyone here? <laughs> I've always go on at noon or in the afternoon, but I'm in Eastern time. So I know that that is not good for everyone. So I'm doing my best to shift things around. I'm going on right now. We're going to do giveaways bright and early this morning. Hi, Lori. So nice to see you guys. Kristen is here. I really appreciate that. I'm just so sad. I don't have more coffee. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm all excited for, for the giveaways today. I'm really excited to spend some quality time on Facebook and really getting a great look at everybody's projects. I had a quick run through this morning and those aren't Deco Divas. They are looking good. They are looking so good. So I hope that you guys are having so much fun with this. I hope that you're learning. I hope that you picked up some fun tips and tricks. The party is not over yet though, because today is a Today is a big day. Today is where we go from a hot dog to a hamburger. And this is my favorite. This is my favorite move. And I hope that all of you give it a try because it's really, really exciting. Kristen says early in Utah. Yeah, it is. Is it 6 or 7 a.m.? I don't know. I can't remember. Utah. Are you guys Pacific time or are you central? Oh my goodness, Diane's here from Canada. Jeanette, you always make my day, girlfriend. Jeanette, you guys need to know Jeanette Salib. She is every single day. She's my artist in resident, in residence. I don't know if that's plural or singular. She um, is spends all day over at Awesome Art School answering questions, uh, giving support, and making sure that everybody's good to go. So she and she's also here in the Facebook group. So she is a she's a huge part of Awesome Art School. And I'll bring you up on the. This is Jeanette. She's a wonderful person. She's a beautiful artist. She has a mother of a million children. <laughs> so she is working hard and she is arting hard as well. So I'm just very grateful to have her in my space. She's a huge, huge help. So thank you, Jeanette. What are you doing? Oh, <gasps> stop it right now. Are you serious? You could add a little bit more cream. I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much. Sean just brought me a trough of coffee in my cup from Donna Lyon. Donna, if you're here, you're in Louisiana. I'm sure that's too early for you. Look at my trough he just handed me. I'm so happy right now. Although, to be fair, I have actually had two giant cups already. That's hilarious. And Maggie is in full force this morning with her squeaky toy. Oh, my God. She's trouble. Can you hear that squeaky toy in the mornings? This is why I walk every morning 8,000 miles because Maggie does not stop unless until she gets her W-A-L-K and I can't say it out loud. Yes, happy Friday indeed. John is so sweet. This is really funny. I have to tell you a funny story yesterday. Good morning. Oh, I love all these good mornings. So Kristen's in mountain time. Okay, so not as bad as as Pacific. <clears throat> Donna is here. Oh, Don Donna. Donna, you need to come on. We need to have you on to chat. Donna is, is one of those students that does all the lessons. She digs in. She's a full on participant, also a mom. So it's got a lot going on, but watching her grow uh, over the past 
year or so has been such an exciting thing to witness. So good job, Donna. Keep it up, girlfriend. I see you. I see what you're doing. You're awesome. Just have to say that. Oh, hello and goodbye, Ingville. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember. So I don't know if anybody was here this morning. I went on with Lucy last night. Oh, it wasn't last night. It was like 5 p.m. my time to um, to chat all things Celtic Collective. I don't know if you guys heard the story about Sean. I'm just going to repeat it. He just did the nicest thing for me by bringing me this trough of coffee, but I'm going to bash him for a second because it's so funny. So Lucy and I have this. Good morning, Louise. Did you, did you, Get your, oh, I think we did. Got your prize yesterday, right? And I have the winners here. <laughs> Lucy and I have a podcast called uh, One Scott, One Not. When we talk, we talk about all things um, Scotland and Celtic and fantasy. And that's what, that was a precursor to us launching our Celtic Collective Art Club. It started with this podcast. And <clears throat> so I was like telling this what I thought in my memories was a really funny story that Sean and I got in this like heated argument at <laughs> at a restaurant a few months ago debating whether or not um fairies were real <laughs> and there was uh there was a um <laughs> there was a podcast episode that Lucy and I had listened to and it was about a woman in Belgium who lived in the woods who saw over the course of the number of years that she lived there, like uh, a smattering of like supernatural creatures. And um, one of the things that she saw was this like 2D, like a 2D image of a guy in, like riding like an old timey bicycle, like by her in the woods. <laughs> and Lucy and I like could not get over this image that we had. So Sean and I got in this huge heated argument in the in this sushi restaurant about like if fairies were real or not and what does 2D like mean to us? And I'm like, yeah, it was like a piece of like paper like cycling by. And um he was like, you're an idiot. That's not how like dimensions work and all this stuff. So he, Sean is like a rocket scientist. I don't know, have no background in any of this stuff. So uh, anyways, it was really funny. So I was recounting that story on the podcast. And then Sean walked in the room while I was talking about it. So I was like, oh my God, Sean, come here. Like you, this, like you can come be a, a uh, like a guest on the podcast so he like sidles up and like I have like one headphone and he has the he has the other one. Oh, I wonder if I should have these on if you hear me better <laughs> so uh so um so we're talking and then like he like doesn't go into storytelling mode I was like come on now's your chance to shine and he like couldn't do it. He was like, the, he was the worst. And it was so, so bad. I and mean, in, in, in his defense, it was smack in the middle of his work day. He's been really stressed out this week. He's been working to midnight every night. So I caught him like between conference calls and he just had like 10 minutes to take a shower, regroup and then go back to work. So I caught him like his head isn't, his mind is not in the game. He's not drinking. We haven't been socializing. We haven't been referencing this in any way. And I like put him right in the spot. Anyways, he tanked so bad. We, it was so bad and awkward. We had to stop the podcast recording. We are 25 minutes in and start completely from scratch. So we start the next episode again. And I just spent the first five minutes. We were like bashing him. We're like, that was the worst podcast guest. And then I made this. <laughs> So later on, I'm like, Sean, we need to do a selfie. So I made this image of him. I'm like, congratulations. You're officially the worst podcast guest ever. It was hilarious. So anyways, it was very funny. But really, he's the sweetest guy ever. And I totally put him on the spot. But uh, one of the joys we have in our marriage is just making complete fun of the other person because it's just hilarious because we love each other to bits. So it's funny when you, it's so funny to just get super scathing, make fun, make fun of the other person. Um, good morning, everyone. I know that that is a super weird random morning uh, tangent, but I just had to share that with you. And then, um, yeah, hold on. I haven't, he brought me this trough and I haven't even taken a sip yet. <gasps> 
Oh, Gail, first of all, it's so nice to see you. Gail did a workshop with me in person years ago. Was that, what, three years ago, maybe? And she still hangs out, and it's always good to see you, Gail. Yeah, that interview with Linda last night was so, like, heartwarming. We had, I put her on the spot, too. <laughs> I was like, hey, you want to come on <laughs> one alive? She was like, ah, it's not, I don't really feel comfortable. I'm like, you'll be fine. And we like checked her on. Um, hello. Oh, good. I'm, this makes me really happy, Denise, because I came on super early, hoping that my Southern Hemisphere friends would be able to hang out with me this morning because I've been missing hanging out with you guys. Yes. Look at all these Aussie friends. That makes me so happy. Oh, let's do another in-person workshop. I would love to if COVID could just go ahead and, you know, knock it up off. That would be amazing. So we can all go back to real life normalcy would be amazing. Um, <clears throat> it's 10 p.m. Okay. But it's Friday night, 10 p.m. So it's like, it's extra fun, right? It's not quite as late as it. Yay! <gasps> this is making me so happy. Donna Wynn is another super long time supporter. She's been with me on Patreon for years. Deb, if this was wine, I would be toasting your presence right now. Extra special hello. So it's amazing to see new friends and old friends. Not that you're old, not that you're not old, but not that you're old. <laughs> it just, I'm just glad that we can hang out for Australia today. Oh, I know Maggie's busy with her bone. She's being a good girl. I'm like hoping that that lasts. Oh, Patricia is here and Patricia's in the Netherlands. So hopefully that this is a little bit fun to come and hang out on the on, on a different time. Oh, you're out with a hubby. And happy anniversary. I saw it was your anniversary not too, not too, not recently. In the last week, two weeks. It was recent. I saw your Facebook post. Um, Florida, Lindy's here from Florida. Oh, Taz is in bed watching. That's nice. It's a cozy thing to, to hang out in bed. Awesome. Oh, good. Yeah, the replays for all the fun Facebook parties we've been having all week long are all in the workshop classroom. And they're also on the Awesome Arts, awesome Art School YouTube channel. That's like my community YouTube channel. Uh, I have four YouTube channels, which is insane. But that one is just for Awesome Art School stuff. So it's really, it's not like relevant to anyone who's outside of what we're doing here, but I don't care. But at least I like to have a place where people can go and catch up and, you know, um, to catch up. So, oh, yeah. Shoot me with supply questions. I bought watercolor pastels. Are they the same as gelatos? I don't actually know what a watercolor pastel is. Jeanette Salib, can you chime in? I'm actually not sure what that is. And maybe it's a product we know in the U.S. We just call it something different. I, I'm very honest if I don't know something or if I have never used it, I won't pretend and I will, I'm very straight up. Like, I do not know what that is. <laughs> oh, Barb is coming in from Virginia on your exercise That Yeah, Barb. What's up, girlfriend? Rock it. <laughs> there's Peloton and then there's Karen Campbell with coffee. I'm sure I'm not as motivating as Peloton, but I try. Oh, Carol Ann's in bed. This is fun. I feel like people are either waking up or going to bed. That's amazing. Awesome, awesome, Carol Ann. Um, it's a stick of watercolor paint you activate it with water. So those, okay, thank you for clarifying. Those are going to be probably too reactive for the hamburger when you're sealing. So I talked about this in yesterday's live, and I'm so I won't go into it as depth. There's basically, in Karen Campbell's world, four levels of water solubility. You have zero, so we'll just say year, zero to 10. Zero is permanent archival ink that doesn't move. 10 is like super water soluble at like Stabilo Wall Pencils, my favorite example, because it's amazingly water reactive. And then there's like a continuum in, in the middle. So gelatos in terms of water solubility are like a four. Like it takes a little bit of a oomph for, to get them to move. And that's what we want in the hamburger. We want, we, we want them to blend when they get wet with a sealer. We don't want them to activate and go crazy. Do you see the difference? So I'm guessing a watercolor stick is probably more like a six, seven, or eight. So we need to stay away from those products in the hamburger. It's too much. It's too much activation. And when you add the sealer, it's, 
goes bad. So we want the gelatos are like specifically chosen because they're not as water soluble. So they don't get crazy. They just simply blend and they're like, good. It's a little magical. So I hope that that helps. So if you don't have um, gelatos, gel crayons, there's a ton of alternatives on the market. I just did a YouTube video where I cross tested like eight different brands and there's more than that. So you can actually just go on like Amazon Australia or your local craft store, do a search for gel crayons. That's the level of water solubility that will give you success in the hamburger laying layer system. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could use them. Yeah, but you don't want to put any sealer on top. Thank you, Jeanette. Um, and they also don't blend in the same way as well. You know, like you, most of those watercolor sticks, you can't blend with your finger the same way that you blend with the gel crayons too. So they're different in quite a few ways. <clears throat> yes. So Gianna, the pit pens will come to the rescue. And in fact, I've done, I've done full projects where I don't do the gelatos and I just do my shading with the pit pens and it works awesome. It really does. It, they're amazing. And the bonus part about the pit pens, which is actually similar to the gelatos, is that if you mess up, you can just wipe it off. It's like, it's amazing. That sealant layer, um, it, it, it gives this slick surface that you can just take a wet paper towel and like undo all your work. It's there's it's awesome. The hamburger system is awesome. It's awesome in a lot of different ways. Um, <laughs> you guys are so cute. Um, yeah. And don't worry, there's no behind and I'm early today. So normally I would give everybody till noon to pick the winners. I'm going to cheat and pick, pick the winners a tiny bit earlier, or actually I could wait. So I'm going to go on. I'm on now. Hello. <laughs> I'm actually popping on tonight at 7 PM, which again, hopefully my Southern Hemisphere people, that should be 9 a.m. your time, which I hope isn't too, that's pretty early for a Saturday. And I sleep my face off on the weekends. Um, but I have a special guest. Uh, Bryn is coming on. Bryn is an amazing, amazing artist. She's like top notch artist. However, She's a lot like me where she didn't start out being a top notch artist. She, we have very similar stories. Like she wasn't a really artsy kid. Um, she totally started as an adult. So I, um, I'm really excited to bring her on in your emails this morning, their workshop emails. I posted her before and after picture her before, never drawn before, and then the work that she's doing now, it makes your draw your jaw drop. So she's been a Fun Fab Drawing Club member for years since I first started. Not I've, it's not, it's only been three years. I just said years like it was 12. It's really only been three. But her journey, and she's taken classes from other people. I'm not taking full credit for her talents, abilities, and all of her progress, but she has been following my lessons for a very long time. She's an embedded member of this community, but she's outstanding. So when she posts her recent picture now, it's for the rest of us, we're like, oh my God, I'm never gonna be that good. But if you can see that her journey, just a couple of years, and wh where where she's been able to go from zero to the outstanding artist that she is now, it's fantastic. So we are actually, we've been chatting a lot lately about the fact that you really, truly don't need to have talent to become an awesome artist. You don't. And our both of our journeys are like good testaments to that. So it's important to go back and talk about the early days because a lot of you are starting from scratch and you might be feeling alone or insecure or like you'll never get there. But like we want to show up and tell you like, no, you are you're going to be great. Like anybody can do this. Anybody can, can do art. Anybody can have success. Um, there's just a couple of things that you need to do to get there. Um, and we talked about fart for the farting process <laughs> the other day, Ooh, which segments me <clears throat> um, to 
to the next thing. I gotta, I'm gonna share my screen in a second because I have to show you something. Oh, Kate is here. What's up, Kate from Melbourne? I know poor Australia is like locked down forever. Although I feel like we're really locked down as well. Like I'm, I still am not going out. Um, oh, the Dragon Workshop, that's the Celtic Collective. That's what Lucy and I were on to talk about last night. So Lucy and I in the Celtic Collective teach, um, I teach in graphite and watercolors and she does watercolors and gouache. So it's pretty much, we limit it that way. That way we use like the same supplies so our students can do really varied projects, but only using a few supplies. So I will a million percent be doing, um, I always in that, in the Celtic Collective, every, all the three clubs, I do different mediums in each one. Drawing club, I just draw. <laughs> it's like dry mediums. Um, Mixed Media Society is all wet mediums. And then the Celtic Collective, we do graphite. I do graphite and watercolor and Lucy does watercolor and gouache. And it's fine for beginners. We have a whole classroom just for beginners to get you started. Um, so anyways, I'm really excited about Bryn's presentation with me tonight. It's not prepared. We're just having a hangout. I'm gonna be drinking a glass of wine and we're just gonna be talking about um, our journeys and starting from zero because you guys really need to understand like if you wanna become good, you you absolutely can do it. Like I'm telling you, you can do it. Um, and I wanna show you something I'm working on because I'm going to be giving it away um, as part of our giveaways. So I need to show you, I want you guys to help me vote, okay? Mm, I need to slow down and enjoy my coffee for a moment. Oh, thank you, Jeanette, my link queen. Um, so I'm designing some new hoodies. <laughs> Can you drink wine at 9 a.m.? I I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> you should be having your coffee. We'll switch. You should be having wine now. I'm having my coffee tonight. I'll be drinking my wine and then you can switch to coffee. We'll just flip flop. So I'm designing some new sweatshirts. I want you guys' opinions. I need to vote, have you vote on something. Um, I'll share this screen. So I am designing some sweatshirts. <laughs> oh, so funny. I love hanging out with you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. So I'm trying to get a good, I want to make a fart sweatshirt to celebrate all the things that we've been learning and doing. So I have two designs that I like. <clears throat> and yeah, I would like your opinion, please. I have a fart in the singular and I have farts in the plural. <laughs> so, and if you guys missed the fart analogy, um, this was a live, this is part of my teaching philosophy as an artist. The acronym stands for F is in fun. Um, A is for attitude. Or I'll just zoom in on this. Um, here. We have um, repetition techniques. And I added the S on because I was like, and then you have success. And then we can have farts, which is super extra fun too. So this is my, like, this is the core of how I teach. Um, and this is how I get my students from zero to awesome is this, this is my teaching system. So I have this one, which is kind of like, I love farts with the little things on there. So there's, this was one idea. And then I'm so dumb because I should have, I didn't, oh, I do have the other one saved. But then the other one is a singular. <clears throat> and if anybody wants to design their own swag, go to Printify. It's super easy and fun to use. Um, um, edit design. And then this one is singular. So it's just fun, attitude, repetition, technique. And then at the bottom, can you see that okay? And then at the bottom it says, like get your full dose at awesome art school do you which one do you like do you like the plural or do you like the singular can you guys let me know in the comments what if you like plural or singular and i don't care if anyone buys these i am buying one for myself <laughs> um i'm trying to think of how you i can't remember how you see it oh you see in the store Um, 
Oh, I didn't fix my pricing. That's that's convenient. If anybody wants it super cheap, I haven't fixed the price and adjusted the pricing yet. So that's what it looks like. I think I like the singular one better, actually. What do you guys like? You like the plural? Oh, it's like unanimous. Okay. Okay, good to know. Well, I will put that one up there. I just wasn't sure about... I like to see them when they're like... Oh, there we go. The mock-ups. Although I don't like this random splotch right there. And the sweatshirt comes in different colors. Do, do you like the splotch or should I put a pencil there? Can you guys let me know? Oh, oh, I see what you mean, Val. But the whole system is what results in success. You're like adding up the fun attitude repetition technique and that's where you get your success. <clears throat> so it's like, they're like, um, you're like adding them up. But I do, I like to know where people's brains are. But if you missed that whole lecture <laughs> that I gave the other day, you, you might be thinking of them as independent, as independent things, but they're really adding them up to get to the art or the, the success. You like the pencil, yes. Are you putting your sight on it? You know what, I'm actually, um, what I'm doing is I, I'm going to try to see, I have never done one with a back, but I'm trying to do, where's my, where's my listing? Oh, here. I'm trying to get one. So on the back, I can just have awesome art school with a pencil. I think that would be cool on the back of a hoodie. So I'm just messing around with all this stuff right now. But I was like, I really need a fart sweatshirt <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, add the texture on the singular one at the bottom of this one. Okay. Yeah, I was, I didn't want it to get too. And then this is the one that this is already available, which is the hoodie. And this is on a t-shirt as well. And I've already given this t-shirt away, but today is hoodie day. It's getting cold outside. And so I want to be able to give people a choice if they're, if for the winners, if they want uh, what they want. So I'm having a variety. I'm getting all caught up in the creativeness um stuff on the back of me because oh i'm not i'm just i would just have like lori i would just have like that on the back so uh, you know it's just like extra bonus fun but i haven't actually figured out how to do that yet so probably with the hood would probably cover i don't know probably come down to here or something but i i'm i like the funny stuff on the on the front <laughs> Not a good thing to wear around my hubby. Oh, Lord, my hubby is used to all my crassness. Donna, you might be a little bit more proper than myself. <laughs> uh, and the blue F. Well, the blue F, I'm not sure what your question is. The blue F is because really the acronym is also ARTS. And then you put them together and they're farts. So it's like, hee hee hee. Guess if I need to explain it, it's not very funny anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the splash either on this one. I agree with you, Denise. I think we're going to go back to having a, just doing a pencil there. Or maybe we just have nothing. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I know. I don't think they have a zip up ver version. But then it would also chop everything in the middle in half. So... I don't know if they have a zip up hoodie version. I have to go check. They have a lot of things you can put it on. Um, all right, so we'll do the pencil. I wish I had made, usually I just make a copy and then mess with it. And this to today, I forgot. So I will, I'll put a pencil back on there. I agree with you. Um, but I do like the, I do like the S for success because it is like an equation, but also then it's just like, I love fart and which is not, not like grammatically correct. <laughs> So, you know, it's got to be grammatically correct, obviously. Oh, so ridiculous. So that's what I've been having fun, um, fun doing. I got to take that one off because we still need some, we still need some editing to do. All right, I'm going back. Um, just clicking on more comments so I can see them all. I thought the paintbrush would be to would be good too. I'm just such a 
oh my God, my hair. I'm just such a drawer. Like my clubs are like drawing, painting. So I always feel like I need to have a pencil because then I'm like, what about my drawers? They won't want a sweatshirt because there won't be any pencils on there for them. What, what is this? What is that? Oh, there we go. I'll pull it out. Look at that. That looks amazing. It's like a feather. <laughs> oh. Oh my God, that's so funny. Melbourne has four seasons a day. A bikini and a tracksuit. That's hilarious. Melbourne is beautiful. I was there many years ago and it was, oh my gosh, the whole, your entire continent is amazing. Yes, I did. I did three months in Australia. I basically partied around your entire continent. Um, yep, three months of partying on a party bus, touring and partying <laughs> across your ginormous, amazing, amazing, amazing continent. Saw a vast, vast swath of it. it was so beautiful. Yeah, I will look for zip up hoodies. It just depends on if that company has them. It, it's, it's not me. It's whatever you can do. I'll check right now. What the heck? We're not, we're just hanging, right? We got our coffee. We're hanging. Um, hoodies, hoodies. Oh, they do have a zip up hoodie guys you're in luck you do all right farts are coming to the zip up hoodie as well oh that's nice they're um yeah yes they do all right we're gonna do some that this is what i'm gonna do today i'm excited there's a slot of nothing in between places in Australia. Yes, there was a lot of driving with seeing nothing. We saw a lot of cattle and sheep. All right, I'll get going on the zip up. <clears throat> oh, I know. Can you put a fairy on a sweatshirt? Yes, I can. We should do, I'm going to do one for the like Celtic Collective themes. And so I'll put our, the Celtic Collective has a beautiful little fairy icon. So I will make one for sure. That would look really pretty on a hoodie too with a fairy just in the corner. Writing, taking your order, your design orders. The great thing about these companies is that if you don't sell any, it doesn't cost anything. So I don't care. I don't, you know, don't make these things to make money. I just do it because I'm obsessed and I have such a good time being like, oh, we could do arts on a sweatshirt. Um, and I also, um, I have something and I made another one last night, but I will, I'm, I need to finalize it before I show it. I have another little hoodie, uh, idea coming. Oh, I'm glad Kristen, I am also on my third cup of coffee in this great state of North Carolina. So cheers, my friend. Um, oh yeah, splitting the graphic of a fairy would be actually really cute. Just not words. I think that would be too confusing with words. <clears throat> <laughs> um, oh yes, I know. Don't F with the fairies on the back. I know. I really love my don't F with fairies shirts that we've been making. Lucy and I have, have you seen the, Lori, have you seen the Redbubble one Scott one not shirts that all have don't fuck with fairies in different in different uh designs those are my favorite i have one that's black i ordered a bunch just as like samples and it's black on maroon so you can't read it at all it's like don't buy that color because you can't read it but i love to wear it out in public i feel so naughty because i'm like it says fuck on my shirt and you can't read it you don't know <laughs> are the sizes true to form um yeah the hoodies totally are i have um but they also go up to like 5xl like you can get a million sizes so i do but i like a big so this, oh, here, I'm literally, my hoodie's behind me. So this, here, I'll put it on. This is a large, oh my God, I almost <laughs> I jinxed my coffee cup. So this is a large, although I haven't washed it yet. So that's a large. It's, it's, it's really cozy and comfy. And normally I'm like a, I would, if I was wearing like a, like a, oh, well this, like the shirt I had under is a medium. So that's like my true to size size. So that's, look how big the large is only one size bigger. They're like, um, the style, this is, a, it's called like a college, it's like a college sweatshirt hoodie. That's like the, that's the, what's it called? The form, 
the form of it, the style of it. So they're nice and big and cozy. I was like, oh yeah, they're made in Germany. It wasn't like the smartest made, but I just wanted a big cozy one. I wanted, I like the college fit. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so I love hoodies to be big too. So, I mean, if a large is this big, you could go, you can go 5XL, you can be swimming in your hoodie, it would be super fun. What does it say? It says you can't get worse with more practice because that's not a thing. So, get to work. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I normally wear a medium, this is a large, it's humongous. So, the unisex sizes, so they're they they skew more towards men's. I know I love hoodies too. It's just so freaking hot in North Carolina all the time that I can't wear them. Um, with that being said, let's give away some hoodies, shall we? And I'll have more choices by the end of the day. Um, so the first winner for today, chosen at random, is Shauna Haraguchi. Shauna did this. These are chosen at random. They're not based on anything other than just posting and participation. I love that she did a dark skin girl though. That's really nice to see. And she did a great job with the shading is super there. It's very subtle, but it makes a huge, huge difference in making this not look flat. So way to go, Shauna. Um, I love, I just have to read it because she's using my, my lingo and I love it. She says, she looks so much better than the hot mess I posted yesterday. I think her eyes are my favorite. They're my favorite too. I'm, I only, I always do green eyes. I'm like a one trick pony. Although I do do, do blue ones for this one. Um, I ended up using Prismacolor Premier Color pencils for my shading. That's amazing. And also smart because they won't move at all. So if you do bang out your shading and it looks good and you use a permanent instrument like a pencil, then it won't, it won't smear at all. Uh, and mooshing that with the blending some. No, I, I, mooshing is my favorite thing. So I love that she wrote that. I tried using some distressed crayons and I hated them. Good thing those are water soluble and I could pretty much wash them away. That's right. That's one of the big benefits of those water soluble things is if you don't like them, you can totally just erase them. So Shauna, wherever you are, and I'm emailing everyone when they want. And can I just say thank you to the people who, when they sign up for the workshop, use their actual names to register their accounts. It makes life so easy. <laughs> so easy. People like they have weird like nicknames for themselves and all this stuff. And I'm like, it's I can't find them anywhere. So thank you for using just your names. It makes my life so much easier. So I've been every single person this week, I've been able to very easily identify them, look them up in, in Awesome Art School and email them to let them know that they've won. It's been a dream. I just want to say thank you very much. Um, Lori Green is the winner of the second hoodie and you guys can choose. I'm going to hopefully have at least four designs for you guys to choose from. Um, this was Lori's Green's project. Again, chosen at random. She says project uh, day four. So I'm playing around there are a few ideas and would love some input. I've thought about adding a few pieces of old costume jewelry with epoxy or stitching onto the canvas. I'm just not sure about the look and if it would work. Is it too much? I don't want to ruin her. She's already got crazy huge eyes. Well, first of all, crazy huge eyes are always a win in my book. So don't worry about that. Um, she posted her, um, like some little variations that she's been messing around with. I say yes. And I think I'm going to add some onto mine actually too. Um, I, I think for mine, I think I'm just going to use like a glue gun and just glue them on. Um, I've already varnished my piece also. So yeah, I think I'm just going to stick on some bling with, with like a hot, with like a hot glue gun. That way it's just kind of easy peasy. Um, stitching, I don't know what you used for your substrate, so I don't know, it, but I mean that, you could totally do that. Um, epoxy is always super fun, <laughs> but it um, only works the best on like certain substrates. So just let me know, Lori, if you're listening or listen to this later, what substrate you are, and I'd be happy to, uh, to help. So yeah, aren't these awesome? I like the, I like the single, I like the single, like kind of 
not that I don't love this, but I love the simplicity of this one. It's just like a perfect little like, mm, like right, you know, mm, that's a <laughs> spell that. <laughs> that's like a perfect little thing. Um, so yeah, so I am so excited and I can't wait to come back tonight and hear about how the ceiling layer went, how the pit pens went. It's a big, it's a big fun day today. And then tomorrow, the only thing we need to do is just varnish this and finish it up. And the reason I put just that one step on its own day is because I get so many questions about like finishers and varnisher, varnishers, um, just finishes and sealants. I get these questions all the time. So I thought that way we, we could talk about pit pens in the ceiling at one session and then make that its own, its own dedicated episode live, if you will, to, to discuss because I get these questions all the time. Um, yay! And everybody's being so nice and just saying congratulations to the winners. So that's super awesome. Um, all right, ladies, that's all I got today. Does anyone have any more questions before I go design hoodies? And oh, actually, I need to walk my dog first. She's being a very cute girl, but that only lasts so long. Um, hi, Deb. I'm glad you're popping on just to say hi. <clears throat> yes. Melissa said they're going to add the band to the forehead like they used to wear. I know. I love that. And I also was going to say, too, in my um, in my Learn to Draw Art Deco Style book volume one, I have a lot of jewelry designs that I teach you how to draw. So that's another option, too. You can even draw them off on a separate sheet of paper and then, like, adhere them on and make it, like, a custom piece of jewelry. Um, can you use a spray, a gloss spray for the end? Absolutely, you can. For sure. For sure. I just went into my, <laughs> my Valley Girl accent from 1988. For sure, you can. Um, totally. I use a brush on gloss. I don't, is my piece up here? Yes. Hold on, I'll grab it. So, yeah, so um, I never, I, I didn't get into glossy until recent, recent history. I was like anti the gloss. It, what, what's cool is that you can buy matte, satin, or gloss in pretty much every form. Mm. Donna Lyon, if you're still here, look, your mug. Sean gave me my coffee in it this morning. So this is, a, this is what it looks like, um, which I... I love a glossy finish. It just looks like, it makes it look like fancier. Um, so yes, you totally can use a gloss spray. And then if like, sometimes even the matte ones, like this is a matte spray. And as you can tell, it doesn't have the sheen. But then I think this looks really nice too. Like I don't want her to be glossy, <laughs> you know? Like I'm happy with how she looks. It's a, it's kind of a win-win either, either way. I don't, there's no bad or good. It just depends on your liking. But lately, I've been really enjoying the super, the super glossy. I've been extra, <clears throat> extra enjoying. So I think you're good. Um, yeah, anything else? Anything else before my walk? Anyone? Bueller? <laughs> There's a delay. So I have to wait an extra awkward <clears throat> amount of time. Oh, good. Yes. Gloss. Gloss is super good. And um, if you want to know which one I used, it's in, I can't remember the name of it, but it's in the classroom for the supplies for to, I mean, it's that information is already in the classroom, even though that lesson has not been opened up. You can see in the supplies classroom to, for days five and six, exactly what I used. It's like, um, I can't never remember the name of it. Not even close. Game bar is the is the company, but I don't remember the name. All right, good night, Taz. Thanks for chiming in. <laughs> oh yeah, we just got new carpets, so they look a little crazy. And obviously, I haven't vacuumed them because you can see all the footprints. My dog is in a coma next to me. My cat just walked by, or one of my cats. Can you use Mod Pugs Mod Podge Glossy for the finish? Yes, you totally can. Yes. Absolutely. 
Um, oh, oh, yes. Yeah, we're doing Morticia, which I freaking cannot wait to do that. I don't actually know how I'm going to do that yet, but I'll figure it out and I will teach you how. I'm ex really excited as well. And and yeah, if you guys don't know, we're doing all Adam's family in the Fun Fab Drawing Club for every Sunday in October. It's really, really fun. Awesome. You're welcome, Misty. <clears throat> oh, I'm so glad, Val. I know. I know. I was like, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming, Australia. I'm coming to you. All right. Thanks, Kate. Thanks for having, hanging out dropping by happy october yes that's right happy october i'm just waiting for the weather to actually get colder so it feels like october it makes me very grumpy when i'm in north carolina and it's still hot and it's october i grew up in new england so i like a cold crisp fall thank you very much and i have to wait till like november to get it so sad oh yay you are um that makes me super happy yep yeah, anybody wants more information on any of the creative clubs at awesome art school just go to awesomeartschool.com and you can you can learn and read about everything i gave you guys a little tour in yesterday's live you can go to awesome art school and then just click on the top there's all the buttons to all the different clubs and you can go check out all of the um projects in there someone just had Oh, November is the dragon and the Celt of Collective. Yes, 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 it is. And I am freaking excited about that. If you saw our live last night with Lucy, I was showing um, some of the references that we're going to be using, that I'm going to be using anyways. I don't know what Lucy's going to be using, but that's what I'm going to be using. Um, oh, awesome, Kristen. I'm excited to have you there. That's super awesome. Yeah, it's so much fun. Um, and I'm excited to have you and doors close Sunday. So if you want to, if you're interested in learning more, I would learn more now. Because <laughs> if you wait, then you might miss out. Yay, Ellen, you're very welcome. Oh, and Tippy's here. Hey, Tippy, Whippy. Tippy's so cute. She's my little, she's my little chair buddy. She'll literally wedge herself and she'll just sit behind me, like wedged between the, the chair and my back for as long as I'm here. She's so cute. So they have tippies here. Maggie's on the floor. This is our normal morning. But then I have to go walk Maggie like four miles so she doesn't become an asshole because that's what she does if you don't walk her. Oh, you joined the drawing club yesterday, Christy? That's awesome. You are gonna love it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I am happy to help you navigate around and get started. Um, I can't decide between drawing or mixed media. Well, the it depends on what you want to make. Do you want to make drawings or do you want to make paintings? So I would go with whatever medium like you enjoy the most. There's really no drawing in mixed media. There's a little, there's like one classroom that has drawing in it and pretty much everything else is, is painting. So, and drawing is the opposite. Like we don't do any painting pretty much whatsoever. Um, so it just depends on what skills you want to learn and what you want to fill your days doing. That's my best piece of advice. Do whatever will bring you the most joy. Um, <laughs> learn it all now, damn it, says Melissa. That's awesome. Do you need experience in drawing dragons? No way. Nope. We just draw it together line by line, Denise. I got you. No, it's nothing. And also drawing, if you can draw one thing, if you learn how to see and draw you, one thing, you can draw anything. And actually, this is what more Bryn and I are going to talk about tonight. So if you're around or if you're not around, catch the replay, but that's literally what we're talking, what we're discussing tonight. It should be a little bit of a nerdy art conversation. <clears throat> uh, which one is drawing and painting? Um, the Celtic Collective is kind of drawing and painting, but that's actually, uh, let me back up for a second. Mixed media society. I always draw from scratch. So I, that is, those are always a part of the lesson for those who want to learn it. So there's always drawing involved if you want it. And if not, I give everyone my, my approval and blessing to just go ahead and use my references, my final piece for your tracing. So it's a, it's, it's either way, but the focus of the mixed media society 
is painting and I do not assume that you know how to draw in there. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. The Whimsical Women classroom is amazing. I'm so glad that you're enjoying that. Yeah, that will take your skills and skyrocket him. That whole series was like, no joke. Awesome. I'm so glad that you're enjoying those. Where are the costs? The clubs are all $27 a month or $270 a year. Um, and if you buy two, you actually get one for free. So um, there's a lot of little bundle deals. You, if you do want to do two, you get $10 off a month or you can do three for the price of two. So there's all sorts of little bundles, but all the information's over at awesomeartschool.com. You can go and read. The Wonder Bundle is what we call the one where you get all three for the price of two. So a lot of people, if they can't decide, just grab the Wonder Bundle because they're like, ah, I just have everything then. And you're only paying for two. So it's a really cool deal. Um, <clears throat> oh, thanks, Angelica. I super appreciate that kind note. And I'm glad that... Um, that's really nice. I'm sorry you had to get up early. <laughs> um, yes, Ellen says, yeah, I really do. I mean, we're really creating every project together. It's just like the workshop. That's how I teach all of my courses. So we're doing it line by line together. And I don't edit out anything. So if I make a mistake, you get to watch how I get through it and past it. And I hope that those always you know, prove to be a good example so we can learn all, all the different workarounds. I'm like, mm, how do we get out of this sticky situation? Um, <laughs> Val, I was greedy doing through, but you're not greedy. I mean, there's a huge cost savings. I didn't have that bundle option until this summer. That's just a couple months old. You used to have to buy, I never, the Celtic Collective didn't exist before July. And it used to be, if you wanted two clubs, you had to pay in full for two clubs. And now you can do this, you have to say, pay the same and you get an entire third club at zero cost. So it's pretty exciting. I'm very glad that we were able to work out that math. Thanks to my husband, Sean, who also brought me a vat of coffee and is also the worst podcast guest in America. Hmm. I agree. It's like, that's like what we talked about last night, which is the art is like such a form of like self-care and therapy. So you just bought yourself a present. Hey ladies, we spent our whole lives taking care of everyone else. It's okay. You don't have to feel guilty about treating yourself to something for you. Good Lord knows we spend the rest of our waking hours making sure everyone else is feeling good and doing things that they want to do. You deserve it. Like, you know, you deserve it. Take away any negativity about that. It's not greedy whatsoever. You deserve it. We work hard in our lives. There's nothing wrong with doing something for you. You got to fight for that. I know I do. I got to fight for that time. It's like, no laundry. You're waiting. Sorry. <laughs> Kids, you're on your own for dinner tonight. Sorry. <laughs> So yeah, like Linda said, that's right. Cheaper than a therapist. Amen. That's exactly right. I love it. Oh, awesome. Oh, Annette. Yes. Annette's in all three. Done cleaning now. Quick shower and then paint, paint, paint. That's awesome. I'm so glad. I know. It's amazing that time. It's hard. I used to have a really hard time justifying like, oh, I can't, I can't give the kids a bath right now because I'm drawing a picture. Like I felt ridiculous like absolutely ridiculous but i was like held my ground i'm like no you know what this is really important to me like it makes me feel really really good i need this relaxing time so it's no more ridiculous than going to get a pedicure you know like oh i need to go sit in a chair and have someone else paint my toenails like that seems ridiculous <laughs> much more ridiculous than having a gorgeous painting session you know what i'm saying so don't you worry how often do i open up my memberships i op i open them 3 times a year so i open them in now <laughs> whatever season this is like fall spring and summer basically we kind of leave the winter off because of the holidays um and then i sprinkle in some free events and then of course i am on youtube quite a bit as well um can you use gel crayons and canvas board for sure yeah absolutely oh that's super cute she saw you get a glass of water and asked to paint i love that that's so, so cute. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, we keep doors closed because I, I'm just squirreling away, busy making projects all the time, like every single day and working on books and stuff like that. So it just helps me to focus, um, focus on crafting amazing, awesome projects. <laughs> That's right, Melissa. I know. I know. I can't imagine when my kids are actually out of the house, how much more I'll be doing. But I kind of, I actually appreciate that, like, I, they make me stop, you know, like I have to pick up my kids from school at three o'clock and um, I got to walk my dog. And so I feel like they also ground me. Like if I didn't have my three kids at home, um, I would, my husband would never see me again. I'd be like, I'll, I'll come out next week when I'm done with 85,000 paintings. So I do, I like it at kind of like four o'clock. like I start dinner time and so I, I appreciate, I do appreciate my obligations on occasion because it keeps, keeps me grounded in reality. I don't know where I would just be in like in a dragon drawing wormhole <laughs> for the rest of my life. So yes, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's not bad. Um, oh, there you go, Denise. My birthday is November. That's right. <laughs> it's 29 and she still is demanding. That's so funny. Yeah. My kids are, um, Jack is 17, Billy is 15, and Max is 13. So they're really, they're very independent stage right now, pretty much all of them. They're really good, good, nice boys. Oh, I know. Lori says, I can't wait to retire and do all the projects I want. I know. It's hard to, to try to fit all the things in in, in, the, in the day. And Kristen says, yeah, I know. Mine too. Mine too. I would go in there and disappear. Weirdly, so Maggie, my dog, who's right next to me asleep on the floor, is um is like a toddler. She's super up my butt like all day. If she's not sleeping, she's like wants my attention. And sometimes it's it's annoying. You know, I'm just gonna be super honest. Like it's annoying. <laughs> Especially since my kids aren't toddlers anymore. Like to go back to something that's like so needy. Um but weirdly, she hates my studio. My studio is the only room in the house where she won't follow me and stay with me, into which I think is so interesting. So actually, if I really want to hide, I can go in there. It's the only place where I'm not followed by my like toddler dog. <laughs> I love Maggie, but sometimes I'm like not just not in the mood. So, oh, Tisha's eight, 17, and 19 year old girls. That's so funny. Yes. I don't know what I would do with girls, with all girls. My boys are very chill, although they were spazzy as when they were little. I used to have people, it cost me in the grocery store when I was a young mom and they were all like, you know, like dripping out of the shopping cart and I'd be like, oh, like, oh my God, knock it off. Um, <laughs> it's all the giant cardboard men, Melissa, you're probably right. But I used to have people, <laughs> that's so funny. I used to have people stop me in the grocery store and be like, all these grandmothers and older moms would be like, I'll never forget this one lady was like, boys, you know, they get you on the front end, but <laughs> girls get you on the back. And I'd be like, what are you talking, what are you talking about? Like, first of all, I'm in hell. <laughs> like, have rest I am in hell. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're saying. And now that I have three teenage boys, um, and they're so chill. And then I, my like sister has two teenage, two teenage daughters. She has a son too, who's in college, but, um, like they just have, there's just like always like drama and crying. And, and my boys are like, and I was like, oh, now I understand what that lady in the grocery store was saying. She was right. And I remember when my, when our kids were little, because they're the same age, like I was dying. And like her little girls were like perfect and cute. And, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm so jealous. And now I'm like, oh, ah. <laughs> like that was my time to shine because my kids are chill. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, obviously, all kids are different. All kids are different. But I, generally speaking, we have good chuckles about that. Oh, oh, my brother lives in Rhode Island, Cindy. I grew up in Massachusetts, so you have three sons. Oh my goodness, that's a. They are very close together in age. Yes, that is very, very close. Oh, that's so beautiful, Trisha. I love that so much. I know, and their chaos when my kids were little colored my world too, for sure. I know we love them at all times. I just 
like to tell that funny anecdote. Um, I love that so much. That needs to be like on a t-shirt with the pictures of your daughters on it. You should get on that. Go to printify.com and make yourself a shirt with that on there with a picture of your daughters. I love that so much. <clears throat> yes. Oh, you guys' comments are so... Oh, <laughs> That's so they do tricks, skateboard writing tricks. I know. My, I wish my kids were more active. Um, we have bred three total computer nerds. My husband is a computer nerd and all of my children are also computer nerds. So I wish they were out trick bike riding and doing skateboarding tricks. That's what I, that's what they should be doing. So, um, so I'm a little jealous. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we all have our burdens to bear, don't we? <laughs> But yeah, they're so fun. Um, all right, friends. Well, it was so nice to hang out with you. I will be back tonight at seven o'clock with a big glass of wine. And Bryn and I are going to just talk about drawing and art in general. And um, if you have questions for her, she's a she's a good she's a good somebody to talk to. Um, as well, oh, Val has eight grandkids. Oh. It looks after them 13, 12, 11, 10, and 5. Oh, God, love ya. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I'd be like, talk amongst yourselves. I'll be over here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So fun. So this replay will be in the classroom and on the Awesome Art School YouTube channel. And I'll be back at 7 with Bryn. And it was really nice to hang out with you. And yes, Lori, I will see you at winding clock indeed. It's been a very tiring and absolutely wonderful week and i can't wait to continue on at seven o'clock tonight all right my friends all right you guys uh be good and i'll talk to you soon good luck on your projects today and congratulations to Lori and shauna and if you want any information on the any of the memberships or standalone courses they are open until enrollment until sunday just go to awesomeartschool.com to learn more Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day.